you know, I was sitting back and um, I was watching a little CNN. And uh, a lot of you guys might think I'm heavy into politics and, you know, I'm always, uh, you know, looking at um, all these little political candidates and stuff. Really, I'm not that type of guy, you know. Um, uh, I'm just one of those guys that sit back, I observe, I do keep up on what's going on, but um, I'm more of one of those guys that just sit back and like to do things um, within the community. You know, I can care less about all these little jokers and politics and shit and uh, all these little cast to have these TV shows because they, they don't really give a damn about us at the end of the day. Like I said, it's, it's up to us to come together and start creating our own destiny. But, um, you know, I was seeing how they're having, I guess, a um, pre-voting type of, um, uh, whatever you want to call it, pre-voting type of uh, totem pole where they're seeing who people might kind of vote for, you know, in uh, 2016. And, you know, I see that Hillary Clinton, you know, is in the running. And she, more than likely, she will run. But um, one thing I, I want to bring to uh, the black community, especially black women, is that don't be fooled by Hillary Clinton. Because I already know what's going to happen. She's going to come, you know, in, in the race or whatever and start doing these little speeches and shit. And then you're going to have white women who are going to come in and try to use black women. They're going to say... Hey, I know you guys had Barack Obama, and that was just great. But wouldn't you like to see a woman be in charge? A woman that deals with our motherly emotions? Come join with us. Come come help us support Hillary Clinton. And then when she gets in it, they're going to kick you guys straight in the ass, just like they do every uh, political race. So be aware of that. If you guys are going to go out in full force and support a woman being um, the next president, make sure that... You demand certain things. Make sure that you're not being used. Make sure you don't get kicked in the ass at the end of the ball game because that's always what happens to the black community. And I think that's part of what happened with us towards um, Barack Obama. I think we were so happy with seeing a black man in office that we didn't really demand anything. And now you got this guy in there. He doesn't really speak for us, you know, or he doesn't really, um, like I said, put. Um, certain policies that benefit us in this country. Instead, what he'll do is when he does speak to us, he's more or less lecturing us. So he's telling us, you know, uh, I remember he said something about black women, stop feeding your kids chicken and shit. I remember he said that. He went to Morehouse. He was lecturing brothers there, talking about, you know, things that we need to stop doing and blah, blah, blah. But when he speaks to other ethnicities, I don't hear that same tone. I don't hear him lecturing them. But he seems like he wants to come to our community and and try to tell us what the hell we need to be doing. Yet he does nothing for our people. So you know I just want to bring that to a lot of sisters attention out here. You know don't be fooled by this. You know when, when you get the whispers and the, you know the, the, the handshake for you to go over there and support Hillary Clinton. Make sure you know what you're doing. Make sure that it's something in for you. Make sure that it's known publicly that you want something in, in place for the black community. As well as black women. Because I already know what they're going to do. They're going to try to use you guys and use the black community like they do day in and day out. And we always get the short end of the stick. But uh, that's my video. That's all I wanted to say. I'm out, y'all. Peace.